Greetings, Mason Storm here. Today we are making barf on a bun. Sounds disgusting, but I wasn't able to find any other name this goes by, and it's kind of a family recipe. I don't know what you call it when you have guests over, but fake us up and probably just call it dinner. So we have a can of mushroom soup, a can of tuna, and some buns. You can also use bread. I'm going to start our process by getting a small saucepan, adding our mushroom soup to it. Careful to get it all inside of the saucepan and not on the handle, as well as the tuna. We're going to go for a medium heat here, and we're just going to kind of warm this up. I should mention too, mother when she makes this likes to add in an egg and a little bit of lemon juice and that really is good too but I'm sticking to the basics here so I'm just going to add a little bit of Tabasco in to give it a little bit of heat but still nothing too crazy. Black pepper really goes a long way in this meal so I add a little bit of that as well. And then we just kind of heat it till it's all nice and warm. Then we can move over to our breading station. So I'm simply going to cut my buns in half and then proceed to add my mixture to the buns. Of course you don't have to use buns, it's most of the time when we make this we just use bread but we still call it barf on a bun for some reason. I really wish there was a better name for that because anybody comes over it's like oh what are you guys having for dinner? It's like oh we're having some barf on a bun. Are you interested in staying for dinner? It's, uh, it's a bit of a conversation piece. So I don't know there, but it's really easy to make this. So just uh, disperse it so that they're all nice and covered and you have a little bit of the full effect going on. And of course, once we have that all ready and prepared, it's time to throw her in the oven. Now you can do this in like the conventional way where you set a temperature and go, but I usually just throw on the broiler and then give it four or five minutes till it starts to kind of brown the bread a little bit and then we call that done. And there we go, it is done. So give this a whirl, give this a try. It's really easy to make, it's pretty delicious. Easy, really easy to make. And let me know in the comments below what your thoughts are. And if you like my content, please like and subscribe. And until next time, stay awesome.